Okay guys, hi everyone, it's Yane again and I like talking about plants. A week ago I've talked about Peperomia uh, plants and I showed you this marvelous jar of mystery which contains my Peperomia polybotria propagations and I promised that I would go in depth just talking, not, not going in depth, but showing you the uh, result, repotting these mother leaves and separating or not uh, the baby plants. It's a very nervous moment for me because I am extremely, extremely scared that something might go wrong because I've been propagate, I've been uh, holding and growing this leaves in this jar for um, three months. I put it there in the end of May and right now it's uh, end of August, 29th of August. And um, it's getting a bit tough there, like it's uh, getting, they are running out of space, so I understand that I have to. I've done quite a lot of repottings and I'm, I was thinking like, okay, I'm here on the terrace and I can't actually record a proper video to share this moment with you. Something might go terribly wrong, something might go absolutely perfect. I've got the pots with good drainage holes, so let's go. All right, so here's my jar and um, all the propagations are there inside. And the why I actually chose this jar is because it actually provided me with proper humidity, so it created this kind of little terrarium. The humidity was trapped and it was drying out too quickly. I put the uh, drainage, the lecker balls. Propagation went perfectly, as you see, right? And I st I still see uh, little little shootings popping up, but as you may guess, I think it's time. I think it's time. I really don't want it to stay there any longer because I think that it, they might get, uh, yeah, m who knows, they might start rotting. And uh, the most difficult part right now is to actually get it out of the jar. And I will try to do it, not breaking the plants and not breaking the glass, right? So I'll make absolute mess here. So be ready. <laughs> okay, this one is successful. The first one. Let's try and to see how much of independent roots there are developed. Right. So let's let's work leaf by leaf, right? Okay. This is good. This is just perfect. I hope that you see everything actually. I will actually still think about separating it from the mother plant. Yeah, I was right. Algae started growing on top of them. Well, this feels like a proper um, proper plant which can be already separated from the mother plant. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Perfect, guys. I'll be... Um, just keep them like this here. Okay? That we can see how many we have. Well, and this one, this one is too tiny, but look, guys, I have too many good ones that I'm going to separate this as well. I'll just, I'll just leave a bit of mother plant like this, but I'll crunch it off. Sochia, Livia, Patatia. Can you help me please? My camera dropped. All right, this is again begonia propagation. So you see it kind of started getting uh, yeah, a bit laggy because it tries to get reach to the sun and there is not that much space. Okay, begonias. It's going well. I was very scared that a lot of things can go this wrong. That's the best, the best one so far. You see? Very good. Um, yeah. They, separ they are separated very easily in the end, if they have good root systems. Okay. The smaller one? I'm, I'm not sure something like this will survive in the end, but I'll try. I'll try. Fuck wasn't good but I hope that it has enough of roots mm. so 
because I'm not sure what to do with this because it is pretty on the leaf. I'll try to leave uh, I'll try to leave a lot of mother's material. But the rest will go. Blah. Sorry, I just snapped it. Well, it's fine. Yeah, I need to be a bit care more careful. But um well, look, these are the going to be the leaves. And this is just growing well. It's gonna be okay. They'll find a way. There is a lot of stuff propagated in the end. Mm -hmm. Next one. thinking how many I want to put in the one pot in the end. I saw in stores how they are being sold. There are quite a few stuck in one pot in the end. Algae, sorry. Not very nice. Uh, there are a lot of roots which went into the uh, Leka drainage. Well, this all needs to stay a bit together because you see this and this. It's like from both sides. I will um, just break the leaf around it, but I'll break it normally, not trying to snap it all <laughs> to hell. Well, there is good root system. You see that. They're all roots. It's gonna be fine. It's not gonna look pretty at the beginning, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, there is a lot of potential around this piece, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. And the last one. Haha, -ha, can you believe? The last one. I think it's a good harvest. Bless you, whatever, whoever sneezed there. Yeah. They are good roots. They are go they're gonna do just well. Okay, let's see if we have anything left here unnoticed, unspotted. No? No, it's been there for three months. Can't believe. Can't believe I've done it. I was so scared. Right, first we do um, begonia. And then we do our pepperoni. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fine with this little pot uh, for begonia so far. Um, I'm gonna take new soil. It was actually so funny because yesterday I figured out that I didn't have all pepperomias and I just propagated very succulent like begonia i have no idea I, I will check the name of this begonia because i couldn't even find so there was pepperomia and um it, tur it turned out that <laughs> begonias also can be that juicy and succulent like as pepperomias right this first one you see i'm not separating it from the leaf because there was just uh, the whole idea was to rescue pepperomias, but begonias were added there, I think, a month later. So they are not even ready yet to be separated from mother leaf. So I'm just putting, I'm literally just uh, changing their <laughs> places. Sorry, I'm a messy reporter. When I report something, it gets really messy. <laughs> well, you see? Begonias. Soil, the new soil is sometimes is a bit uh, hydrophobic and it annoys me to death. Um, if it's hydro is if it's hydrophobic, you need to dip entire pot in water and then bubbles, 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 and it's gonna be less hydrophobic. Let's go to pepperonias. 
this pot with the drain troll is going to be for peperomias and I'm filling it with soil it's a fantastic day really I really love it when it's not uh, really hot and it's there is good shade right not filling it up to the end and let's start with big boys right with big boys with good roots so this one my hair is annoying okay first one first roots i'm gonna add a bit of more soil yeah good first one um let's put choose the good proper centerpiece yeah i think this one is a good centerpiece because it also has a big cluster of soil <laughs> done then this one done <sighs> it's beautiful my first bed for me a propagation that was my first i have other but coming that's the first which i started right I love it. I really love it. That Peromia polybotria. They're tiny. I think it's proper size for this. Uh, that's a proper pot, the proper size of a pot for this uh, amount. If it gets, um, you know, dense, I'll be repotting it soon. Good, okay. Um, oh, let me show you. The begonias. A little begonias. I'm so sorry for the mess, right? But if we're gonna feel the nature well i have just realized that the entire repotting process was recorded with one of my least intelligent parts but <laughs> nevertheless i am just going to wrap it up a bit because i've cleaned up and i really want to show you kind of you know at least shoots where i have my clean nail yes honey that was just all with my <laughs> there was just no face a little bit here but the most concentration on the plants the nose <laughs> the nose have you seen the nose <laughs> it is huge <laughs> okay you can you can you can come and say i don't want to well yes at least i want to show you the uh parts where i've cleaned my nails uh we've propagated <clears throat> yes i've propagated uh peperomia polybotria and begonia uh which type i'm going to write down later i've reported it i was very stressed i've been postponing it up to the moment when um the little saplings are a bit grown up and i've discovered many more other tinier saplings which are not they're not saplings i guess they are shootings for babies right let's call them baby um babies of peperomia polybotria mother plant I've discovered that there were many, many other uh, just getting out of the leaf, but the can, the jar was a bit tight, so I couldn't keep them there any longer and uh, I had to repot them already. I think that this is a success. I'm not sure that it's going to be 100% success rate because you you might be seeing the tiny, tiny, tiny uh, shootings which I actually still repotted with a piece of mother plant because I've noticed that even if mother plant was actually rotting the healthy part like you know that was rotting somewhere there and there was such a big peperomia polybotria leaf so it was just still giving the shootings somewhere on another side of the plant good I'm extremely happy with this one I think it will grow into a very beautiful and bushy plant and I will see if I need to repot it anytime soon and begonia is going to be just fabulous begonia here with uh, at least four leaves but i think that these two leaves will actually keep me um, happy with other little saplings because rooting a root system was very very well established good i'm going to keep this um guys moisture um moisture i'm going to keep them moist and i am going to uh, keep giving them humid environment which is here in the Netherlands without any other struggles or any other additional humidifiers, bags or anything else. Good. I'm very happy to having spent 
this fantastic evening with you reporting and having just cozy warm evening i'm not sure that it's evening at your place but i hope that you've got the vibe i really really appreciate that you watched the video please i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying i'm not saying it. subscribe i'm not saying it. subscribe <laughs> yes yes dignity no please subscribe <laughs> Whatever, if you don't subscribe, it's fine. Have fun with me, right? Just come to this channel once again. I gotta do a lot of fun stuff. Bye bye.